Okay, so welcome. I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm a little rusty, uh, but I'm planning on a big update video about that thing soon now that I have it back. But before I do that, I wanted to just make a really short video explaining the thing you can see on your screen right now uh, because I posted a screenshot of it on my Instagram, at Mobius Matt, and people seemed interested. So I'm just going to give a really brief explainer. This is just an idea that I had uh, last night talking with some friends about how to maintain repertoire, which I think is one of the hardest things about being a working musician. So let me just explain what's in front of you as briefly as possible. So what this is, is these are four pieces that I am planning on bringing to a big performance next February. I can't talk about what that is yet, but that's the idea is, okay, four large pieces that need to be developed over a relatively long period of time. So what I have done is that I've made a little path for each piece. This is probably really basic for people who deal in project management, but I think I've seen that every musician has their own version of this. So I just wanted to kind of explain this version since people were curious. Anyway, so each piece has its own path with a final date in red. That's the big performance. Um, but what I wanted to do was to create kind of signposts, performance, performances along the way. So that, for instance, I could get one piece, the piece that's the farthest along now, I could get it ready the soonest in about a month and a half, do a practice performance, and then after that, it's in maintenance mode. So the dark red is performances, the light pink is maintenance, and then the really deep scarlet is like the big one. Um, so yeah, you can see, okay, this piece is going to get finished. I'm going to perform it for some folks on August 1st. And then after that, it's going to be in maintenance mode. And then I'll be able to keep working on this piece, which is a little bit less farther along, a little bit more challenging to perform, and I'll perform that about a month and a half later. But what you can see is that I'll have to also perform the first piece again. So I'll have to have that in maintenance. So the same thing will happen with this final piece, which actually, it's funny because this, I think, is going to end up being... I could be, this could be hubris, but I think it's going to be the easiest piece, which is why I've left it for last, besides the encore, which is going to be by far the easiest. But anyway, you can see that basically every time I finish one piece, I have to perform that plus the others, which forces me to not only be learning stuff, but be maintaining the other stuff. So it, it kind of keeps that pressure on, since I'm liable to just like learn it, perform it, put it down forever. And then I've set up one final full performance about a month and a half before the big deal one, just so that I can be really polishing all the rep for a while before the final performance. I'd actually love to do many performances in here, and even in here. So this is the basic idea behind this. You can do it for however many pieces you want. Um, yeah, and then one thing I'm trying to be careful of is not to overdo it on detail. Uh, I tend to put things down if they get too confusing. So it's possible I might want to do like individual timelines for each piece. You know, this is between now and when I should first perform the first piece, the Rigondi. Uncertain about that. I also might do a separate tab for my Mobius rep. We'll see. I like that this is big and simple and it's like, okay, this is the date where I do this. So I really like that clarity. Okay, so I'll come back with another update later with some video of me playing that thing. I've got tons of video of me playing it on my YouTube channel, at Mobius Matt, so check that out. And I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like it.